The hook kick, it's an odd kind of kick. You see this in the movies a lot. But the idea here, if I was going to throw this with my arm, I would move everything through the shoulder socket, comes up, and it cuts across past the line of the shoulder socket. And then at that point, it could drop down, up, across, and down. This is a very popular kick in a number of karate styles. I don't find it as effective as just your basic front kick or your basic back kick or your round kick and so forth. But it's great for coordination. It's a tough one to do because you have to move the leg in the hip socket and then at the tag end of the kick, roll the hip over so that you can bring it across and down. But the idea is that, I'm going to stand behind Ashley. The idea is that if I was using Ashley's head as a target, I'm going to go over her head. The kick would come through and it would actually go through the target and then drop down. So it wouldn't go over here, hit the target straight, but bang, right through. So as Ashley delivers the kick, notice how, again, she has to bend, she's in the T position. She just picks up, and you get, now watch that again because you notice that her leg comes around and it cuts through just as if she had a blade right on the edge of her foot. Look how she landed. Shoulders turned, hips turned, sets her up for a follow-up punch this way. So this is why you would go kick and then drop. You'd be stuck here, kick, set down, bang. One more time, and watch how this cuts through. That's the standing hook.